Hi Council, and welcome to part three of the three-part video series. We're going to spend a little bit of time talking about service reviews. This is your opportunity to tell us if there's something that we should be considering in the coming months to, in order to inform the next financial year. If there's a service that you think we need reviewing, this is your chance to tell us. But if you are to nominate a review, these are the types of reasons why we think a review should be undertaken in response to changing costs, escalating costs, in response to risk, in response to a changing environment, be it legislative, environmental, physical, digital. There's something that we need to do to adapt and change. Perhaps it's in response to a change vision, a strategic alignment. Maybe we're doing something now that made sense before but doesn't make sense anymore. It could also be simply to unlock opportunities, be it financial opportunities or otherwise, or in response to community sentiment. These are the types of reasons why we would initiate a review and why you should let us know if it's something that we need to review. When we go about the review, these are the types of things we hope to achieve. We want to really define the service, what we're doing, how we're doing it, how many people are working on it, what's it costing, what are the measures of success, what does success look like, are we tracking this, are we performing, are we reporting? We need to understand if it aligns to our vision. We understand if it's a meeting community need. We need to understand if it's delivering value. And of course, we need to understand whether there's an opportunity for change. Do more, do less, change the quality, or maybe not do it at all. Looking forward to the end of this financial year, we've got a lot on the go. Something I forgot to mention in the last video is around our service register. Um, it's been a while since we've defined our services and really understood what we do. Um, put that in a, in a way that can be benchmarked, that can help drive the program forward. We need to put some energy into this. In addition, uh, there's the opportunities and communications that Matt mentioned in his presentation last Tuesday night. What are we doing about the website? What are we doing about customer experience? What are we doing about community use? These are all questions that need to be answered. We've got a domestic waste contract that's due for renewal. A lot of opportunity there. We've got ongoing reviews in line marking and street sweeping, and potentially some opportunity in how we lease out our buildings, uh, particularly to the Department for Education for their kindies. In our efficiency savings bucket, um, we have a target of 500,000. We're on task to meet that. We have a stretch goal of 750. For continuous improvement, there's also a lot on the go. In the waste area, we're still looking at how we manage our doggy dispensers, how we manage hazardous waste. The development area, we're looking at um, how we need to best respond to planning reforms. In customer, um, as mentioned in Matt's presentation, there's a lot of opportunity in automation for our records department, as well as understanding labour capacity in the call centre. And lastly, there are two Tech One modules that we're deploying, one in recruitment and one in accounts payable, which are going to hopefully improve the way we do business. Lastly, we've got the big question mark about innovation. How are we reinvesting into the future? How are we understanding what's possible in order to invest back into this service review program? A lot on the go, but like I said, this is your opportunity to let us know if there's something else that we should be considering. Thank you for paying attention to this three-part series. I hope it was interesting. Please let us know about the format and contact me if you have any questions or feedback.